you're probably already familiar with Excel so I won't get into a whole bunch of how Excel works what I will get into here is showing you why this template is a great addition to your arsenal of office applications uh, as you know Excel is a very powerful tool and I've taken advantage of a lot of the technology in Excel to develop this template where it automatically generates a Gantt chart based on the timing that we have put in for calendar days, work days, and percents complete. And then each one of them tied together with the tasks that you have on the left hand side. With this template, start by entering the project name and then your company name here. The next thing you can do is go to your start date. For this example here, let's put in June 1st, 08. And for today's date, let's put in June 16th, 08. What I want to point out here is that the schedule is built on a week basis, or as we see it, it's a weekly basis, Monday through Friday. Now, uh, because we put the start date being on June 1st, which is a Sunday, that means that this week is going to start on that uh, day, and we're only going to see Monday, which is the 2nd. Today's date up here is the 16th, and you'll notice that there's a red bar now at the 16th. Now, this will change based on what we put in here. So if we put in the 20, or the, let's just say the 8th, you, you'll notice that it's... Uh, it's not shown because it's a weekend day. It's either a Saturday or a Sunday. Uh, let's say we go 28.08. Again, it won't show. Now, let's say we put it on to the 18th. There it is again. I like this feature for two reasons. One, it really shows me quickly where I am in the schedule. And two, I can use it for critical path items. Let's say there was a critical path item that was due on um, uh, July 3rd. Oh, wrong date there. I could use this to really identify to whoever is looking at the schedule that this is a, a day that's very important to us. For right now, though, and for most parts, I use it just for showing today's date. You may be familiar with the outline function in Excel. If you look over on the left hand side here, you'll see these weird looking objects, a plus and minus sign. Right now it's just all minuses. What this allows us to do is to take these tasks and really simplify them. For example, in many cases, I don't necessarily want to show my clients all the items that are under a primary task heading. For this case here, it's general conditions. So let's say I wanted to put together a schedule or print a schedule and show it to the client but not show them all the intricacies of each particular task heading. I click the one at the top here and it minimizes all of those other items. They're gone, but not really gone. They're just hidden right now. Let's say we wanted to show them the general conditions. We just click the plus sign and there's the general conditions. We scroll down and there are the rest click the two sign, the two number, and it opens up everything again. It's all there. While we're scrolling around here, I don't know if you noticed, but the headings stay the same. The weeks stay, the column headings stay, everything at the top of this stays in one spot, so we are easy, easy to, uh, makes it easy to track the task items. If you scroll the bottom though, it moves the whole sheet. I didn't like that, so I put in a scroll bar here where it would allow the Gantt chart to scroll on a week-by-week -week basis but still be able to keep your task items here. Moving into task items, each column above these tasks has a little red mark in it and each red mark has got a little bit of a, uh, additional information about those columns and what you can do to use those columns. And speaking of help, notice this help button here takes you right to help at the bottom where there's some common questions and answers. Click the back button and it'll take you right back. 
in the task items depending on which schedule you have whether it's the commercial the residential or the blank schedule you can modify edit add take away any of these task items that you want you start with the task items the number doesn't really mean anything it's whatever numbering system you want to use I like to keep it simple so here's 1.1 receive notice to proceed and sign contract the start date is automatically generated so you don't have to adjust that date you do not have to adjust this date the important area is the duration days now right now this is built based on a calendar day system if we know that the uh, this scope of work this task item is going to take 10 days and I put 10 days in here it really shows us that we only have seven working days built into the schedule for this particular item so what you have to do is adjust this so that you can come up with the 10 days of working items now I just guessed that it was 14 days this does not include weekends this excludes weekends it only counts weekdays work days rather so it's really going to be 14 calendar days to perform this particular task now check this out when I zero this out notice what happens on the right hand side here it's all orange the days complete is zero and we have 14 calendar days remaining now let's say we get 30 percent through what happens check it out this automatically turns to blue lets us know that we're done these are still orange they're not done yet we still have time left on that particular task we've already finished four days and we have 10 days left okay now this automatically works for all the task items no matter which ones you look at we zero them all out and notice that the main heading up here changes as well go back through and it's automatically adjusting both the Gantt chart and your percent complete for this overall task is adjusted automatically you can easily copy and replace or add rows by simply selecting the row that you want I usually start with a subtask I right click copy and then insert it wherever I want by right clicking on that row insert copied cells and now it's there the numbering system is not working correctly but that's okay what I do is highlight the cells above and to keep the counting going I move down grabbing that little bar on the left or the right hand corner and it counts and I do the same thing over here on the dates too not the first date but the second date down and grab that little mark and drag it down that ensures that the function of that cell works correctly now everything else will work just fine now you've got a new task it's as easy as that so that's it you've got it figured out this thing is easy I love it it makes it easy for people to learn how to use it's very fast and the best part is you save thousands of dollars by not having to buy the expensive software to develop simple quick and professional looking schedules finally if you ever have any question we're always available the only key is that you put in the subject line help for your template schedule and we'll help you out it gets through our spam filters and we're done Thank you.